next speaker is Carl Hoff on Hazmat Cargo 2, an even more difficult than nine piece hacking puzzle. Hello, my name is Carl Hoff. I'd like to talk to you about my latest packing puzzle. Uh, it's actually a sequel to the puzzle uh, that I presented at uh, G4G13. Um, it was created by searching a 21 piece subset of the hexaminos. Um, of those 21 piece subset, there was only a single nine piece subset uh, that had a unique solution on an 11 by 11 board. Um, all other of the searched nine piece subsets had uh, more than one solution. There were no sets with a, uh, zero solution. Um, it's also, I should point out that uh, Mr. Puzzle and Chris Ramsey have both made very nice videos about this puzzle on uh, YouTube. Uh, it's sort of interesting that Chris, one of the few Chris Ramsey videos that I've seen where he was actually unable to solve the puzzle. Um, I ended my last talk with two open hypotheses. Um, based on the searches that I had done at the time, and pretty much all I could do with the software I had available with me at, at the time, I was then made to guess that that 9P subset was the only 9P subset to have a unique solution, um, and that all other 9P subsets had multiple solutions. Um, it was sort of a bold claim at the time because of the more than 70 million um, 9P subsets you can make from the 35 hexaminos, I'd only searched. Uh, a bit under 300,000, which is less than half a percent. Um, I now have code that allows me to search uh, the full base of all the hexaminos, and I have now done that. Uh, it took the new code I've got a bit over 82 days to do that, or 0.1 second per subset. Um, it found 16 subsets with fewer than 10 solutions, and Hazmat Cargo was indeed the only set that had a unique solution. Um, however, there were three sets that had no solutions. All of them contained piece 21 on it, or piece 26 on that table, which wasn't included in the original 21 piece subset that was searched. Um, so where do I go from here? Um, I want to make it even more difficult puzzle on that type of puzzle designer. Um, so I decided to see, let's see if we can make a nine piece puzzle um, using the he uh, heptominoes on a 12 by 12 board. Um, Looking at all nine piece subsets of the 108 heptominoes was a bit much for my code still. Um, so I wanted to look at a subset of the heptominoes and I picked the non-compact, non-symmetric uh, heptomino. Um, I imagine everybody in this crowd knows what non-symmetric means, but non-compact is basically my way of saying that the heptomino has the maximum perimeter possible for its bounding box. So these are all either two by eight, three by five, or four by four. Um, basically trying to pick out the pieces that are difficult to pack. Um, so of that, I, I searched all 52 million possible nine piece subsets. I found eight sets that had unique solutions. Uh, there were 101 sets with no solutions and then all the others had multiple solutions. Um, this is a table I made of some of the properties for the 18 uh, solutions that I found or sets with unique solutions and I'm comparing them to the original Hazmat Cargo. Uh, the first one is the one I ended up naming Hazmat Cargo 2 for a couple reasons. Um, if you look at the solution time for my code, um, the original Hazmat Cargo it could solve in 512 seconds or about nine minutes. Um, the Hazmat Cargo 2, it takes my program over five hours, about five hours and 40 minutes to completely search the uh, search base. Um, all the other solutions were in the ballpark of about an hour and a half. Um, why that one is so different from the others is rather interesting. Um, I also counted the number of near solutions each set had. Um, and that first solution had 62,226 near solutions, i.e. solutions where you have a single corner touch. Um, all the others were under 10,000. There's one set in there that's got as few as 360 near solutions. Um, I also counted what I call dead corners. Um, dead corners are corners that are not touched in any of the near solution states for the puzzle. So basically every corner in Hazmat Cargo 2 that can be touched in the near solution is touched in one of the near solutions. Um, there's only one other of the 18 sets here that had that property. Um, but anyway, I picked the first one to be my puzzle. And that are, those are the nine pieces. So I've given everybody a copy of this piece, basically a paper on that. 
um, as my exchange gift, but your goal is to take those nine pieces, pack them on the 12 by 12, by 12 board so that no two pieces touch. Um, and uh, my guess is it's probably gonna take most of you a computer program to do that at this point. Um, I know somebody give a talk on uh, uh, the first day saying that the uh, ideal number of pieces for a polyomino packing puzzle is the golden region is between nine and 15. Uh, if you play with this one, you're going to think nine is too much. Um, so, <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, that's my talk. Um, I'm primarily known for, for twisty puzzles. Uh, I also make puzzle rings and some other puzzles. Uh, my topic last year was on the double circle reel 6x6x6, six by six by six, which I brought with me. Um, it's basically the functional equivalent of a 2x2x2 two by two by two inside of a 4x4x4, four by four by four, all inside of a 6x6x6. Six by six by six. If anybody's interested in taking a look at that, it's at my table over there. Um, but that's my talk. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <clears throat>